I'm just getting my cameras in the uh, small rig holders uh, so that I can start uh, sculpting today. Change of plan. Um, found out that uh, this weekend we're going to start a pop up gallery show uh, in town and uh, in Ennis, and uh, I've been asked to take part in it, and I'm going to have to uh, get some clays ready to, to go and show in that, that uh, month-long show, and uh, I'll give you more information on all that uh, later on, but right now I've got work to do because I've got a guy coming from the foundry in Livingston, Montana, either Thursday or Friday, to give me bids on all the clays that I've got. I've got a ton of clays up there on the shelf. And uh, rather than me making two or three trips to Livingston, uh, it would be much more economical for him to come out here to my studio and just give me a bid right here in the studio. Time to play with some clay. All right, I'm doing a spur on this boot because the bottom of the boot is fully exposed. What I also did was uh, I added uh, some uh, conches on here on the uh, the uh, bat wing shafts. This is where uh, the uh, attachments for attaching the uh, part of the uh, legging that goes around and connects to this part around the uh, leg of the cowboy so that he can wear them so that's uh, why those are there and they only go down to the knee because that's about as far as that leather wraps around is uh, down to the knee so that they can bend their leg easy I'm going to paint that uh, spur to match the clay. Just so that there's no question about why is that a different color. Okay, I just got to need to work on these uh, shafts a little bit. Another thing I gotta do is fill in underneath the shafts so that uh, they can easily make the mold. You gotta constantly think about what it's gonna cost reproduce your bronze and if you got a lot of undercuts and things that are hard to make a mold of that's just going to cost you more money and uh, bronze costs enough if without you having it cost even more so you try to take everything you can and turn it into an easier casting than it looks like. 
I ran some uh, monster clay through my pasta machine for the uh, ties, for the conches. I'm going to attach that right now. Okay. Now I'm going to make some taps. It's just a piece of leather over the uh, stirrup. Sorry, it took me so long to get that word out, but <laughs> just a little trying to get this thing. placed. Okay, I'm going to try it on this stirrup and see how it works out. Whoop. Well, again, I thought the uh, bad cam camera was turned on and, and recording, but it wasn't. So I'm going to have to come back uh, next time. I uh, put the taps on. I'm not certain that these are good ones. I don't know. I got to do just a little more research before I can be happy with it. Um, and uh, right now I'm not happy with it. I filled in underneath the... Uh, tap on this one haven't done that yet on this one but that's only because i'm going to halt working on it for now until i get that worked out i got to work on a shirt and stuff but right now i got no battery power at all to to even show that being done um so i'll get that tomorrow and i'll finish off these tapaderos tomorrow and uh also the uh shafts all right everybody have a great night. I'll see you uh, next time. Till then, happy uh, sculpting. <laughs> Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.